Hello, and welcome to Hardly Tech. Today we're going to be taking a look at Oloi Owl Series RAM. Today I have a 3600 MHz kit at 18 cast latency, and I want to see how good is this kit, can I recommend it, and who makes the chipset. Let's get this kit opened. Don't do this. Please cut away from yourself so you don't cut yourself. This is a bad example. Don't copy it. Alright, let's get this kit unboxed. Today we're taking a look at the MD4U1636 181CHKDA purchased from Newegg. Currently you can get this kit for about $155. I got this on sale for $140, which isn't bad. 32 gigabytes for $140. This is why I want to see how good the performance is. Well, the packaging is fairly easy to get into. I like that. And these heat spreaders are pretty good. They're, uh, they're not very thick, but they have nice pass-through cooling, which I think will help. And the color's nice. Just a steady black. Fit any theme. This stick is in a little bit sideways, but that's okay. Doesn't hurt anything. So currently I have my G skill set in, which we'll take out and take a look at the Oloi kit. Don't ask why I took them out in this order. I don't know. <laughs> All right, the kits are in. They look pretty nice. I like the pass-through cooling. I think this will really help with the airflow from the bottom fans blowing directly past the GPU up across the motherboard. Should help keep them cool. Don't mind the cat hair. She's a white kitty, she can't help it. All right, let's test this kit and see what kind of performance we get. First up, we have the synthetic tests, starting with 7-Zips benchmark, Ida64 Extremes benchmark, Passmark CPU test, Passmark RAM test, 3 d Mark CPU test, Cinebench R23, and lastly, Geekbench.
For today's gaming tests, I wanted to keep it simple and keep the runtime down just a little bit. So we're going to stick to F1 2019, Far Cry 5, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Estaré aquí toda la noche. ¡Ey! ¡Cuidado, niños!
So there we have it. How good is this RAM? Well, it's not bad. And as it turns out, this is actually a Samsung chipset. I'm not sure which die it is specifically, but I think it's a C die, since I can't overclock it as much as I would like. It's not as good as my Samsung B die G skill set, but it's stable as heck. I couldn't overclock this as much as I would have hoped, but I did bring down the latencies a little bit, which helped gaming performance and overall performance. I think there's still some tuning to be had. So I think the next step here is to compare this directly to the G-Skill set that I'm using. Two sticks versus two sticks, 32 gigabytes versus 32 gigabytes. And I think what I'll do is match the main timings, the primaries, and the secondaries as best as I can and see just how much of a difference there is between Samsung's different dies. I am fairly impressed with this kit. It doesn't overclock great, but it is stable. Once I got these timings set, even though it's very close to being unstable, it never fluctuated, my system never crashed, I never had any blue screens or gaming dropouts. I'm impressed. So if you're in the market for an inexpensive set of RAM, and you're not sure about Oloi because, well, you've never heard of them, I can recommend them. However, do check the RAM listings to see if you can identify which chipset each RAM kit has. There are ways to do this, and I'll link to them in the description below so that if you're not sure which kit of RAM you're running, which manufacturer, you can look that up yourself. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe, share this video. It really does help the channel out. I very much want to grow this community. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.